Hello everyone, welcome to another battle report for my channel. I know it has been a little while, um, I haven't had a lot of options for games lately, so here we go. Um, we're doing 2500 points, um, some of these, uh, the guys I play with are going to a 2500 point tournament or two coming up, so they want to practice at that, so uh, today we have Kingdoms of Man versus Kingdoms of Man. Now the scenario we rolled up was loot, and we're doing it at 2500 points like I said, so uh, we'll go over my list first. Um, I'm trying a bit of a combined arms um, scenario with humans, which I'm, I'm finding pretty, pretty fun. So, uh, one horde of berserkers with the caterpillar for mostly just so they can hide out in the woods. Um, a horde of foot guard with brew of strength, a uh, heavy pike block uh, in the horde with a brew of courage, uh, two troops of shield wall, a knight regiment with blessing of the gods, mounted scouts, um, with carbine upgrade. Uh, three beasts of war with the ballista upgrades, uh, three siege artillery, uh, one army standard bear on foot, one army standard bear on a horse, uh, two wizards, uh, both of them do the bane chant upgrade and swap fireball for lightning bolt, uh, one of them has the inspiring talisman and the other one has a fenulent amulet, um, fire amulet, whatever that thing is, it, you know, two two spells in a turn, um, and they both are mounted, I forgot to mention that. Uh, so my opponent, um, who's playing more like a <laughs> A horde of bodies, um, Kingdoms of Men Army list is as follows, uh, one shield wall and a horde, and then four troops of shield wall, uh, three horde of spear phalanx, one horde of foot guard with the, um, two-handed weapon upgrade, I didn't mention that, but yeah, they do have that, uh, five ballistas, three wizards, um, he also did the bane chant upgrade and lightning swap, but he has one inspiring wizard, his are all on foot. Uh, two standard bearers, and for allies, he has two elf archer hordes. Uh, one of them with a piercing item, and one of them with fire oil, which doesn't matter because I don't have regen. And one elf standard bearer with a healing charm. Uh, so I'll go to my opponent's deployment here. Um, from right to left, I'll try to get this as good as I can. Uh, Spear Phalanx, shield wall, troop, uh, shield wall troop in front of a shield wall horde in front of a foot guard horde. Um, I can see some ballistas in the back. In the middle of the elves, um, spear phalanx, um, shield wall troop, and then there's three ballistas kind of next to that building there. And shield wall troop in front of a spear phalanx, and then like a, a couple of wizards over there. <coughs> so, uh, for me for right to left, um, troop of mounted scouts. <coughs> Excuse me. In the um, farm there, I have three siege artillery. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, next to the, and I have a, my heavy pikes there. Um, next to heavy pikes is a wizard, the inspiring wizard, uh, the more naked one. Uh, beast of war. Uh, in the woods there, my berserker horde. Um, two troops of shield wall, the non-inspiring wizard, and a flagger back there. Um, two beasts of war. A horde of foot guard. Knights and the uh, mounted standard bearer behind the knights. So this is how it looks. Um, we did get loot. Um, you can see the markers. One of the markers is obscured by that tree in the middle. Um, but yeah, they're mostly just all three right in the, right in the middle, which is fine with me. Uh, so turn one, turn one. My opponent got turn one, so he just moves up like this. Um, moves up a little here, kind of straightening out his lines, kind of straightening out his lines. Um, so you can see like that, and there's the, there's the marker I was saying. They're all just three right in the middle. Um, shooting. His uh, ballistas have really good uh, <laughs> targets with my with my beasts of war, so they start that. Um, his archers eat up uh, one of my shield wall troops. And that's that. And so for me, uh, turn one, I move up uh, somewhat cautiously. Um, over here, you can see I'm just keeping my berserkers just in the woods. Um, they're really, really squishy. And those are it's a lot of archer shots on the other side, so they're just trying to hang out in the woods as long as they can. Um, they are in charge range, though, of that token in the middle, so if he goes up to move it, I can at least respond. Uh, over here, and on the right, I just move up a little bit. Um, shooting, I get a couple um, artillery shots on these guys over here. Um, maybe a lightning bolt or ballista shots over here. It wasn't too too dangerous, but I did, I did waver that um, shield wall troop. Uh, so into turn two. Um, turn two, my opponent doesn't really move much. Um, he doesn't really have to. He does have me outranged with the uh, inclusion of those archer hordes. Um, 
So, well, I'm just kind of shuffles a little bit, but for the most part, he sits still. Shooting uh, lightning bolt at my uh, scouts, which is fine. They they held out. Um, over here, he I think he does a lightning bolt at my wizard, and then um, his archers take out my other shield wall troop. Um, and then um, I had left this beast of war just out of inspiring because I wasn't a, I didn't measure carefully enough. Um, so he would have survived if I had kept him inspired, but I didn't. So that was the end of him. Uh, and then a little bit of shooting at this beast of war. Uh, so you can see we're just still just kind of squaring up. So um, turn two for me, I make a lot of charges. Uh, my knights, he has more drops than me, so he was able to blop a spear phalanx in front of my knights, which, you know, it's not a great charge for them, but, you know, I'm getting shot up, so i got to do something. Uh, knights go into the spear phalanx, the uh, foot guard going to the flank of shield wall that he had pushed over. <coughs> The Beast of War there goes into the Shield Wall Troop, as you can see. Um, over here, the Beast of War goes into that Shield Wall Troop, which is, it is bait, but I can't sit still with those Beasts of War, because they're just going to be dead in a turn from all those ballista shots. So, um, And over here, I charged my scouts into the flank of his Shield Wall. Um, probably was a mistake. I probably should have just sat back and shot at them. Um, and a lot of reasons for that is just, I don't have very many good targets with my artillery, um, in this game, because all of his stuff is height one, and, and, like, all of my stuff is height one, and I didn't have a hill, so I can't see a lot of stuff, so I should have just pulled up on their flank like I did, but instead I should have just shot them. But I didn't, so I charged the flank of a shield wall. And it gives me a cool picture, though, I guess. Um, shooting, I start picking on his, uh, army standard bearer over here. That was about it for shooting. Um, combat, I these guys do a flank, but you know, scouts are scouts are pretty terrible for for combat. Well, they're, they're just pretty terrible actually, but they're fast, so I like them. Um, so nothing nothing going on, but at least he is just they're, they are distracting him, I guess. Uh, of course, this beast of war eats his uh, shield wall, and now he's dead. But you know, he was going to be dead anyway, so he might as well eat a shield wall in the process. Um, this beast of war eats his shield wall, as you would expect. And these flanking foot guard, of course, beat their shield wall. So, clearing through the chaff. Um, the, the knights don't... Oh, here we go. The knights end up pulling out six damage, which is fine. Um, you know, considering that they aren't getting any thunderous charge. So, yeah, it's fine. that's fine. So, yeah, the turn two looks like this. We're getting a little stuck in. Um, nothing, too, nothing too fancy yet. Nobody's got any tokens, that's for sure. Uh, so turn three. Um, turn three, he countercharges my <coughs> scouts. As, you know, makes sense. I'm actually kind of okay with this because it keeps these guys way over here and out of the way for a while. Um, and it, it made a cool picture. Um, you can see he flanks my Beast of War on the left there with that shield, or spear phalanx. Uh, his shield wall charges my Beast of War in the middle. Um, his... Spear phalanx counter charges my knights, as you would expect. Uh, he gets a bane chant off on his shield wall here. And he gets a bane chant off on his spear phalanx here. Uh, and then his elves open up on my <coughs> mildly guarded <laughs> um, berserkers and, and end up doing a ton of damage. But they'll hold out for another turn. But that's just that's just pretty rough. Uh, his spear phalanx does a really bad job beating up on my knights, so that's good. Um, the shield wall does okay against my beast of war, but he holds out, which was good. Um, and, and not expected a, a flanked beast of war here died. Um, oh, I didn't mention he did charge his shield wall at my pikes just because he had nothing else to do with him. So and they did one point of damage. Um, and over here, yeah, his his shield wall ate up my his spear phalanx ate up my scouts, and that's that's fine. So the end of my opponent's turn three, and then again just another picture of that. So um, I turn, we press some more charges. Um, the, uh, the the pike pikes charge the counter charge the uh, shield wall that was in front of them. Um, the berserkers go out and charge the spear phalanx that was up there, which is just something 
they had to do something they like like many of the things it's like well you're so hurt you better do something or you're going to be dead next turn so you might as well do something wait no you better do something because you are going to be dead next turn so you might as well do something yeah there, there was no there was no saving them so um over here we double charge the shield wall with my beast of war and the foot guard and the knights go back into uh their their uh, spear phalanx and I, I move one of my wizards over to try to bane chant the knights um, I burn my Fenulin amulet, or fire amulet, or whatever, whatever that thing is this turn, um, and I fail to bane chant the knights, but I do do a pretty good um, lightning bolt into his uh, <clears throat> his character over here. So I shot and wavered his uh, standard bear, um, shooting. I waver this shield wall over here with my artillery, which was pretty good. Um, not surprising the uh, <laughs> the the um, pikes eat up there spear or eat up the shield wall that was in front of them but not not like by a lot because they don't have any crushing strength but they do have a lot of attacks so um the berserkers do a pretty good job not great though so they don't eat up the spear phalanx that was in front of them but hey, at least they put out some damage before their inevitable demise um this one was a little bummer um i didn't i really really fluffed um we didn't kill this foot guard or not foot guard but um shield wall at all <laughs> funny enough um which actually turns out to be fine um because it keeps his foot guard in the back from charging anything but still it's like wow that was a lot of attacks for not much um and my knights you know again they hit back they actually hit back pretty good they do eight damage this turn for which is pretty decent for only having 16 attacks um so you know they're they're both hanging out though that waivers on the uh on, not on the not on the uh, spear phalanx it's on the army standard bear so uh, that's what the end of turn three looks like. Again, I don't think anybody has any tokens. No, no, I have one. I have one token. Uh, turn four. Um, turn four. He counter charges my berserkers, which was expected. Um, his shield wall counter charges my foot guard, who have the token, and spear phalanx counter charge my knights. Um, so he gets a. Bane Chain off on his Spear Phalanx here against my Knights. Um, and shooting, he rips this guy apart. I forgot to put a route, route uh, thing in there, but yeah. They, this Beast of War is gone. Uh, some of his other shots just do some token amount of damage to my uh, Wizard and you know, my Pikes. Uh, in combat, he really, really whiffs with his Spear Phalanx, which is good news for my Knights. So they hang out for another turn. Um, his shield wall does does three points of damage. Uh, I think he failed the bane chant on him. I can't. No, no, no. He only had one bane chanter over there, and he tried it against the knights. Um, it wouldn't have mattered. They were they were fine. So my foot guard barely barely get brushed. Um, on the other hand, though, this uh, this spear phalanx over here makes easy work of my berserkers, which they were really damaged. So. That was inevitable. So the end of my opponent's turn. Well, it's turn four. Sorry for the uh, blurry picture. Uh, my turn four. Uh, foot guard counter charge the shield wall. And the knights go back in. We're just bashing each other over there. Um, my spikes um, flank these guys. It was they were inevitably dead anyway. Um, so that's fine. Um, and shooting, uh, we get a good lightning bolt off again, and I get rid of his army standard bear over here, which is a big deal, because that was his only source of inspiring. Uh, my artillery, finish off these guys, the spear phalanx over here, which was good. Um, my pikes, not surprisingly, pikes in the flank finish off this spear phalanx. Um, my foot guard, finish off this um, horde, horde of uh, shield wall. And my knights finish off this spear phalanx, which was again also pretty big. Um, all, all things said done, I actually picked up four hordes this turn. So turn four was a really, really big turn for me. <clears throat> As you can see, the lot lot less bodies on the field at this point in time. So we go into turn five. Um, turn five, he moves up his archers a bit. Um, knowing at this point in time he has to at least set himself up to take 
a token if he can hopefully get one or at least make sure I don't have any tokens so his archers move up a little bit uh, over here his sh foot guard charge my foot guard um, and he moves his um, wizard over there to chaff up my knights a bit he gets a bane chain off on his foot guard um, he shoots <laughs> he shoots his, his elves moved and are shooting at an individual, so not surprising they didn't do any damage to this guy. Um, they just do some reasonable amount of damage to my pikes. Uh, and we go into combat. Um, his foot guard do okay. Um, you know, the foot guard are pretty good. They hit on threes. He was wounding me on threes. Um, so that's, that's not that's not unreasonable. It's about half. So yeah, but I'm but I'm fine. I got I got plenty of support. Um, so the end of turn his turn five looks like this. Uh, my turn five, I counter charge his foot guard with my foot guard. Uh, my knights go into his wizard there, and as you can see, there is a good setup for an overrun if I can roll a three or higher uh, with my knights <coughs> to get into the flank of his foot guard, which is very very helpful. Um, I also get a Bane Chant off on my foot guard, which is helpful. Oh, and one, and one back, um, way, way on the left there, you can see my Pike's charge his wizard. He, he put a chaffing wizard up in front of me, so I couldn't charge his, uh, archers. So like I said, I get a Bane Chant off on my foot guard. Um, I route his wizard up there with my, with my knights. And I make the overrun into his foot guard. So. Um, that's, that's just not good for his foot guard, but as you can see, I actually whiff really, really, really bad. Um, no, 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 I take that back. That's not all the damage. I didn't do great though. Like it was like barely, like I barely got rid of his foot guard, even with flanking knights. Um, uh, my, my foot guard did really bad, but anyway, um, we did take it out, which is a big deal. And over here I had sent two army standard bears. Uh, into his, um, his piercing, this is the piercing, uh, archers, and so I just want to disrupt them so they couldn't shoot for a turn, and I actually got one point of damage off, so they're not shooting anybody. So there's what turn fives looks like. I have two tokens, and he has none. And there's the other side of the board, pretty, pretty empty. <clears throat> uh, turn six, um... I'm not sure what I'm showing here. As wizard just stands there. Yep, and those guys get shot off the board. Oh, I got that out of order. But anyway, sorry. Spoilers, I guess. Um, in the middle, his uh, archers had charged my my flagger. Um, in the attempt to overrun onto a token, but he overruns short. He needed like a five or a six. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he rolled a three, so he doesn't get a token. I drop a token that turn. Um, and you can see over here, this is my turn six now. My foot guard survived his ballistas. I think they just mostly missed. Um, so, yep. Uh, so I do some shooting in my turn six, just in case it's turn seven. I get a couple of good rocks. And some lightning bolts on these guys, but they're fine. Um, they're inspired elves, so they're not going anywhere. Uh, and that's what it looks like at the end of turn six. And actually, this ends up being the last turn of the game. So, yeah. So, well, so the results, um, I had a token and he had zero tokens. So, by the name of the game, I, I by the rules of the game, I win. Um, it was a victory for me. It was an incredibly bloody slugfest, which I guess is what happens when we both have plenty of artillery and plenty of foot combat um so general thoughts on the game um i guess, I guess that at one point i probably shouldn't charge those scouts um they didn't really accomplish that much over there i probably would have been much 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 better off just shooting with them and shooting with the artillery but it's hard to say those artillery are pretty pretty uh pretty sketchy sometimes um i still like them though uh and again in this game too like i did take some bait charges um but honestly, I don't even think he needed the bait charges, or to bait charge me necessarily in that in that context, because 
those beasts of war were just going to get killed anyway from the ballistas. Um, that, yeah, you know, like I might as well have done something with them, even if all they did was kill a troop. It was just not a good, uh, not a good scenario to be a beast of war in, being height four and all when everything else is height one. Um, but it was a, it was a pretty fun game. Um, my, my, my opponent has so many buckets of dice to roll. It took a little while, but overall, yeah, it was a good game. Would, would do again. So, um, thanks for watching guys. I'll try to get more reports out in the future. It just comes down to one of those things where I might get in some games now and then, but it's always against, you know, the same person or two. And, you know, that's not terribly exciting to show, but, um, we might be getting another person or two joining up with us and playing soon. So we'll see. Um, otherwise I'll, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.